with me today and we're going to go through a mini webinar, a mini presentation for his new program, which is called Rank Architect. Now, I've just been talking to Oz just before we, we, we went uh, live there and some of the results that his um, clients have been getting are, are quite amazing. We've got somebody's made $360,000 from just two websites. Another guy has made $250,000 from his first website. Another one is kind of apologetically saying he made only 41350 because he was distracted with family issues. And another um, person, Damien, says timid websites work and have banked a few hundred thousand, uh, sorry, a few hundred dollars short of $295,000. So I think this is something you want to pay attention to. I think this is going to be a very good session. And it's all about SEO, okay? So if you've been on my list for a while, you know um, <clears throat> that we've done a lot of SEO products in, in the past and we've promoted um, quite a lot of Aussies as well. But lately, we have been doing um, some guest webinars for crypto and for Facebook landing page and Facebook profile kind of stuff. So we're sort of pulling it back and to, back towards um, where we kind of started from. And this seems like a very, very good um, sort of mini webinar to set up to help us to do that. So Oz, I'm not going to take too much time. I'm going to let you do your presentation because you know your product a lot better. And this is the first time I'm seeing these results as well from these testimonials, I mean, and I, I need to know more. I really want to know more. So um, take some notes and if you get any questions, you can always send them through to us as well, but I'll be doing a Q&A at, at the end with Oz as well. All right, Oz, I'd like to... Um, take it away. All right, Tony, thank you so much. Yeah, it's really exciting to do this presentation. It's the first time I'm actually doing it. Um, I released this as a product to my audience, I think about two months ago, and I've not done anything with it um, since then. But even before that, I've been sharing some of, um, I've been sharing these methods, the strategies and the tactics with my consulting clients. And then I finally decided to package it up into a product. So like you rightly said, this is about SEO, but it's not SEO as we know it in the traditional sense. And that is why uh, um, we've used the term rank architect, because this is actually about architecting and designing your websites very efficiently so you're not having to do lots of that tedious, cumbersome SEO work that we've all been used to over the last, you know, 15 years or even longer, depending on how long you've been um, in the in the game. So what I'm going to do over the next 10 to 15 minutes is give you like an overview of the system. This is not something that I I do because we've got like a, a comprehensive sales page that people can go to and find out more. So what I'm going to do here is actually give an insight into kind of like what, um, give you a flavor of what you get on the course. So I'm sure that most people who've been doing SEO for more than five years know that SEO is no longer as effective as it used to be, say, even 10 years ago or going further back than that. And the problem actually is that Google does not like SEO. So we all know that um, Google has always hated black hat and gray hat SEO, yeah? And the, 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 the information out there, okay, the narrative was that Google liked white hat SEO because white hat SEO allowed Google to know what your website or your web page was about, okay? But from recent events, recent occurrence, and even statements by ex-Google employees, even the White Hat SEO, okay, is no longer safe. So Google started out hating Black Hat and Gray Hat, but they liked White Hat. But the evidence suggests that even this is no longer safe. So you have things like guest blogging, where people that work for Google are saying it is no longer advisable to do um, guest blogging. But a few years ago, guest blogging was seen as the poster child of white hat SEO. And the problem is the new um, Google 
algorithm which now has um, a very significant artificial intelligence um, component, yeah? And basically, AI is artificial intelligence and this enables computers to think, reason, and also to behave like human beings, yeah? Now, the goal of White Hat SEO is really to tell Google what your web page is about, okay? With keywords and tags and, you know, videos and images, all right? So Google has a good idea of what your um, web page is about. But the problem now is that the AI algorithm believes that it can now understand what a website, a web page is about without the help of SEO. Because um, AI algorithms learn along the way, unlike the old traditional um, algorithms, okay, which basically you have to force feed them what you want them to do. But with AI, deep learning, machine learning, they actually learn. And when they learn, they can use that new knowledge that they have gained. So the Google AI algorithm now believes that it can understand what a webpage is about. And it doesn't like to be told what to do, okay? So what happens is that if this AI algorithm, which now behaves like a human being, thinks that you are using SEO to give it instructions, it will throw, or the likelihood um, is that it will throw a tantrum just like teenagers do. Okay, and I've got three, well, two teenagers. The other one is gonna turn 21 um, later on this year, okay? So I know what it can be like telling teenagers what to do, even just um, things like clean your room, you know, that kind of stuff, yeah? They don't like it. They believe that they should be making their own decisions for themselves. And that is what happens, okay, um, when Google thinks that you're using SEO. And that is why, that's the real reason why SEO no longer works um, so well. But nobody really talks about this even inside Google, okay, because they know that in the past, they were encouraging people they were sorry, they were encouraging people to use a white hat SEO. And now you can almost be penalized for doing that. Okay. And the thing is, I have a friend who works for Google and who told me about this. So I just didn't um, find this out by myself. Okay. But I was observing certain things and I was wondering what is going on. Yeah. And what my friend told me, okay, is that the solution is not to stop using SEO. Okay. But to use the SEO and then make it as invisible as possible, or at the very least, make it unobtrusive. And by that, by making it unobtrusive, that means that it is there, but um, the algorithm does not know that it's actual SEO, yeah? So kind of like being sneaky, but this is nothing um, black hat or gray hat or anything. It's a white hat SEO, okay? But you're doing it in such a way that Google is not aware that you're giving it instructions, yeah? So you're telling Google what the what your page is about okay without the algorithm realizing that you are giving it um, instructions so the bottom line is that white hat seo is no longer enough if you want to remain in the good books of google yeah it has to be unobtrusive white hat seo or invisible white hat seo yeah and the other thing too is that um, the efficient way, yeah, the smart way of ranking um, now in Google is no longer to kind of like do um, all the grunt work um, up front. Yeah, it's more efficient to kind of like share the burden, right? Which means that you no longer need massive websites to rank because a lot of people think that you need massive websites in order to have that authority that Google is looking for to rank. But with the rank um, architect approach, you can actually rank with small websites, websites as small as 14 pages. And that is really what we try to focus on. So this is kind of like giving you a background of um, the rank architect. So what I'll do next is basically talk you through the different components, okay? Um, so we've got three components and we started with the end goal in mind, which is to not just um, rank on page one of Google or page zero of Google, but let's not go into that, but also to be able to make money from Google because a lot of SEO people just, you know, focus on getting to page one of Google, 
but what's the point being on Patreon on Google if you're not making money? Yeah. So basically, um, our goal is to get you from zero rankings to not just rankings, but page one profits. Yeah. And we use Rank Architect to achieve this. And like I said, it's got three components. The first one is um, the connection architecture. Then we have the by, seduc um, by seduction framework. And then we have our optimization platform. Uh, the interesting thing about um, Rank Architect and these three components is that each of the three, yeah, can be used independently on its own to rank your website on page one of Google. So for instance, the optimize um, component here is really what you would consider traditional SEO. Yeah, and that is what a lot of people focus on. So you could actually just use the optimized component to rank on page one of Google. You could also just use the seduce component to rank on page one of Google or the first one, which is the connection and architecture. And like I said, most people focus on just the third part. But the irony is that this component is actually the least effective of these three components. And that is why we have it last as the last one to implement. Okay. And sometimes there might not even be a need to implement it because it's very possible to rank from just implementing the first two components, which are the connect and the seduce. So in terms of um, importance and power, I would say that the second one, which is um, the by seduction framework is the most powerful. And there are two reasons for this. The first reason is that virtually nobody does this. Okay. Because like I said, everybody's doing traditional SEO. Okay. And then even those that do try to do some element of um, seduction, because it's all about giving Google what it wants. Yeah. And when you give Google what it wants, it basically falls in love with you. And it's almost like in its eyes, you can do no wrong. Yeah. So some people are aware of this and they try to seduce Google, but they have no clue how to do it properly. Yeah. So that's the first um, reason nobody's really doing this properly. And the second reason is that when you do this properly, Google will send you so much traffic, even traffic for keywords that you're not optimizing for or that you don't think you have any right to rank for. Yeah. In fact, most of your traffic will come from keywords that you are not targeting. Okay. So I would say that is the most important um, component. But the first one, connection architecture, is almost as powerful as um, the second component. And once again, a lot of people are not using this component. But more importantly, yeah, um, this component is what allows your SEO to be unobtrusive. And in some cases, it is even invisible. And remember that that is what my friend told me we need to be doing if we do not want Google to start throwing the teenage tantrums. Yeah. So when you do that, you're kind of forcing Google to rank your small website, okay, much higher than the bigger websites that have loads more authority than your website. Yeah, and we use um, a proprietary technique called index vectoring here, but I can't go into detail on this public webinar, okay? But we share all the details in the Rank Architect course, yeah? So these are the three components. So just to um, basically zoom in and give you something that I've not shared anywhere else apart from inside the course, okay? So these are like the sub, um, the sub units or the units under each component. Yeah. And I'm going to share these with you because I'm Tony is a, is a good friend of mine. So this is like a three by three grid. Okay. And under each um, component, we have the three units. So for the, um, for the connection architecture, um, components, we have, um, the cluster theme. Okay. Then the cluster structure and then the cluster page roles. Yeah, and this is what allows us to implement the index vectoring, but I'm not going to go into detail about that. Okay, but when you do this, okay, then basically um, you can use your SEO unobtrusively. That is the key thing that you need to do, uh, that you need to know about these three units. Then from that, we go on to um, by seduction. Yeah, and this one basically, the reason it's called by seduction is that you're using one seduction stone to seduce two birds. The first bird 
is Google, the Google algorithm. And the second bird, okay, is the human visitors that actually go to your website when you rank, yeah? And to actually implement this, we have four stages of seduction, okay? And you need to have um, those four stages implemented on your website, yeah? And then you use this in combination with the seduction features and the internal page flow to make Google fall in love with your website and your web pages, yeah? So that is the second component and the most important in my opinion. And then we have the optimization, which is really almost like your traditional SEO, okay? But this SEO is unobtrusive, yeah, because of what we have, what you what you should have done um, in the connection architecture, although you can do this on its own, but if you do this on its own, then it won't really be the invisible or unobtrusive SEO that um, we preach, yeah? So you have on-page SEO, technical SEO, and off-page SEO, which most people are familiar with, okay? But we do it in such a way that it is unobtrusive, it is almost invisible, yeah? So, so that is it, and like I said, you can use each of these components um, independently of each other. However, when you implement all three of them, yeah, the way we, sh uh, we show in Rank Architect, then it's almost impossible, not just to rank on page one of Google, but it's also almost impossible not to make money from Google, yeah? And that's because you will benefit from the synergy um, that exists between these three components that we have uh, uh, deliberately built into the system. So when you do this, okay, then the final outcome, the final result will be a lot greater than what would be the sum of the individual, um, or which, what would be the sum of the results of the individual units, okay? So that is really Rank Architect in a nutshell. I've told you why SEO is no longer as effective as it used to be, and I've told you what this solution is, which is basically making your SEO unobtrusive or invisible. And I've now given you an insight into how we're actually able to make our SEO um, invisible and at the same time, um, make Google fall in love with um, the websites. And when you do this, you can do this on your own if you can find out how to basically Im implement each of these three units, or you can take a shortcut and do it through what we share in Rank Architect. And we do have a sales page, which Tony will give you a link to, so you can go and find out more information about, you know, the background, the history, and stuff like that. So that is it. Um, oh, it's almost 20 minutes. Sorry for going on and rambling for, for so long, but I'll end it here, Tony. So if you've got any questions that you want to ask then. Yeah, and I, this sounds really interesting. One of the questions I know that I'm going to get asked a lot is that we have done a couple of previous promotions for Keyword Kingdom and the, the other one, I forgot the name before that. The people are going to ask how similar is this to that and what is the, the main differences? Yeah, very, very good question. Thanks for asking that. Um, uh, um, right, so Keyword Kingdom actually feeds into this, yeah, because because you know that before you do your SEO, you should actually have your keyword research. So Keyword Kingdom is our keyword research. And then it feeds very nicely into um, the, the theme here, okay? The connection theme and the connection structure, yeah? So they're very different, but they work together. They work in concept, yeah? So you get your keywords from Keyword Kingdom, then you feed them into the, um, the connection cluster theme and the connection cluster um, structure. Yeah, so it's very different. Then we've got, we have other courses on, uh, which is really about video SEO and how to rank um, in YouTube, okay? But this is different. This is about ranking on the main Google with websites, not with videos. Yeah, so, so, um, so that I hope clarifies yeah. it for you. Yeah, so for Keyword Kingdom, that is your keyword research. This is your actual SEO. And then we have other the other courses that I think you've promoted are about, you know, video and ranking yeah. on YouTube. Uh, and building these websites, I saw somewhere that you provide a template for. Yes. So for that 14 page website, yeah, we, we've got a template and there's information on the website where basically you, you have your you have your website 
um, uploaded. If you've got, you need, you need your, um, they will need their own hosting and they will need their domain name. But once you have that, uh, we have a, a template in WordPress that you can upload to your WordPress, uh, WordPress dashboard and in 10 minutes, even less, you have the website there. Then you now need to go and upload your content. Perfect, Perfect. okay. And let's go back to those testimonials again, because that was some incredible results um, that, that you had there. Just to clarify, guys, the, this course has been going for a couple of months, but Oz has been doing consulting for quite a long time, for years, in fact. And he's been teaching people over the years um, different strategies and things. Um, so the, these testimonials are, are coming from your consulting clients, right? Yes, the consulting clients that we're actually using, what I would say is the precursor of Rank Architect. So I basically help them. Um, implement rank, but at the time we didn't have rank architect, but it's the same strategies that I've now condensed into rank architect. Okay. And I think everybody's probably want to know about the, the, the price point. Do you want to cover that now? Or do you want to cover that in the emails? I think it's better to cover it yeah. in the emails, but what I would say is that, um, in terms of return on investment, um, it, it's really a giveaway. And you were actually saying that, you know, if I turn this into a webinar, I, I should be able to yeah. charge a lot of money. Yeah. And that is the plan. So we don't have a webinar for this. What I'm doing with you is like a one-off that I've not done with anybody. We just have a sales page. So we've priced it almost like a low ticket item. Some would say yeah. mid ticket. Okay. But it is worth a lot more. And the plan is to take it on the webinar circuit and, you know, charge at least four times, <laughs> if not more, and what, what, and what I'm charging. So, so yeah, it, it, it is value for money. Let, yeah, let's put it okay. that way. That sounds good. And I think if you, I mean, it's newbie friendly, yeah? Very, very newbie friendly, which is one of the reasons why we have um, the template. And yeah, uh, we don't go into any jargon. So we assume that you don't have an experience of SEO. And that's also one of the reasons why we've got the SEO bit at the end so yeah this is just almost common sense stuff and some people would think oh why didn't i think of yeah. this myself well that's because you didn't know that it's what google is looking for no. um yeah so it, it's new uh, newbie stuff i um, really the the, the 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 really technical stuff is when you come to should i say te the technical seo and maybe the off-page seo i would say that is more tedious than technical yeah. but everything else is newbie yeah. friendly um okay well what I would say, guys, is is that this is definitely worth the investment. And if it's, you know, as it's newbie friendly, if you're experienced, this should be quite easy for you to implement and, and to get off the ground. Um, one, just one more thing. I mean, the, how, how long is this um, promotion going to be available for? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that, but I would say it shouldn't be available for more than four right. days because like i said we, um, i want to take this onto the webinar circuit and you're the only person that I'm, I'm doing this with apart from my own audience so i, I do not really want to cannibalize um the offer by making it available to too yeah. many people so yeah maybe four days but we'll, we'll talk about the de three four days we'll talk about the details um all right offline. guys i will i will put together a very very good bonus but there's something that i know that you want that you will appreciate that you will like okay um one of the things that's coming to mind right now that i'll give you an option of i'll give you a couple of choices um is that we have just updated serp attack um to be able to do youtube short views now i'm going to be working over the next few days uh, in, in probably weeks, but I'm, I've got some definite um, blueprint for how the YouTube Shorts algorithm works, and I'm going to implement some kind of training there for that. So, uh, one of the one of the options for your bonus for this will be to get some YouTube Shorts crowdsource video views credits. Okay, so with Serpatag, we've got crowdsource video views. We are all viewing each other's videos. It's all automated from a desktop app, and you create your campaign from the web app. Now, I don't think this has been done before. I don't think there's another another tool that automates um, doing YouTube views, but the best part is everybody within the group um, that starts to watch each other's videos. It's like VidAttack Alpha, but more advanced. And so that when you're using proxies, 
everybody else is using proxies and what we can do then is use their proxies to do the views and we, we do views for them with our proxies and so we get a lot more mileage from our um, proxies that we're using. So that's going to be one of the options. So keep an eye out um, on the bonus section I put onto the email as well. So if you're watching this and you want to know more information, um, if you purchase this and you send your receipt into me or give us, you know, up to 72 hours and I will get a list of people who purchased from us, then I will give you a couple of options. That's definitely going to be one of them. You don't want to miss that because that's a really, really powerful strategy with the YouTube shots. And you can use YouTube shots to drive traffic to your websites, okay? We will cover how to do that as well. Oz, I think that's all I want to cover for now. Um, thank you very much for bringing this uh, opportunity to my audience because I'm sure they're going to love this. And um, you, you want to say anything before we finish up? Just to say thanks for hosting me. Um, this is a really good opportunity for your audience. And thanks for that um, incredible bonus. It's it's really, really congruent and relevant to, to this because it's like, you know, um, a two-pronged approach. You use um, Rank Architect to rank on um, Google and then use your um, SEP attack um, for YouTube. And I believe you can even use it to, to rank on Google as well. If, if I, well, from what yeah, I've you heard. can use SEP attack to, to rank videos on, on, on Google. But here's on, the thing on, about, here's the thing about well, the YouTube yeah. shots that I've, I've sort of been discovering is they have something called a 7x rule. So if you get 1,000 views, they will give you 7,000 impressions within the YouTube su suggest. Now, I've heard that from two or three different sources now. So um, these are people that are using YouTube shots all the time. But if you just imagine that you're creating YouTube shots, and you're telling people as an introduction to go to your website, this can be done in any niche. And if you're able to go and generate 1,000 views with Serpentine, then you've got an extra 7,000 impressions. So that kind of thing is how we wow. use that 7x rule to drive traffic to your website. But the cool thing about those 7,000 impressions is, is if your content is good within your shots and you start to pick up good watch time, good retention time, good CTR, from the YouTube suggest, not the YouTube SEO, but the YouTube suggest, then yeah. they will give you even more impressions, okay? And that can drive up huge amounts of views with, with these YouTube shots. This it could be a very, very good bonus for siphoning, siphoning um, targeted traffic from YouTube and onto your websites so that you can get the benefits from that. And of course, if you've got people coming to your website and they, 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 they stay on your website, they're not clicking off straight away, then all the engagement signals that's created there is going to help your, your rankings as well. So that's kind of SEO without SEO as well. That fits in nicely with this. I think that's a good bonus for this one. Wow, no, no my head is buzzing because you're just giving me some ideas actually. I didn't know about yeah. the 7X rule yeah. at all. <laughs> And that's a strategy that I've been wanting to um, test out myself on, on YouTube. And if this is true, then this is... The key is your explode. first three seconds. The explode, first three, three seconds of your shots is the key, okay? If, if your shots wow. is less than 30 seconds, you need 100% retention. If it's up to 60 seconds, you need minimum 80% retention. Sapotec takes care of all of that for you, okay? So there's a whole bunch of these algorithm hacks that I know oh, that I'll be teaching you. Oh. If you purchase this from ours, yeah. I will give you access to that training as well as some credits for um, doing YouTube shots, okay? So that's a good bonus, good thing to look forward to. So if you want to get back into the SEO stuff after we've been doing list building and affiliate marketing and crypto stuff, this is the one to get back in because this is going to be fun. Uh, and actually, as a final word, I would say that with your bonus, okay, this um, YouTube Shorts thing, I think it's something that people can build an entire business around. Because like I said, I've, I've got some um, ideas about, you know, YouTube and how to use it to build a business, but it didn't have this element to it. It was going to have to depend on paid traffic and from YouTube. But with this, oh my God. We, we, we need to talk some more <laughs> offline. <laughs> we need to talk some more offline. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah that's thanks, it. Thanks very much for, for bringing this to, to, to us. And um, guys, I'll see you soon. And um, we should have some more webinars coming up, one a week. I'll be doing guest webinars. Um, and we will be doing some internal training as well. So keep an eye out for those emails. I'm doing some free training as well that you want to jump on, especially for the SEP attack stuff, because I'll probably give part of that information away for free. Um, but you want to make sure you got all of the information you can get that if you 
purchase this from us. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Oz. All right, brilliant, Cheers. Tony. Take care. Bye. Speak later. Bye.